Hey guys, we are talking transformations today, which is different ways that a shape can move within the coordinate plane. Now in this video, we are specifically talking about reflections. If you need a different type of transformation, I will link a playlist for you in the corner. All right, but we are doing reflection here. So obviously there's a lot of different ways you can reflect a shape. On this one, we're going to talk about reflecting it over the y-axis and over the x-axis. So if we look at this shape here, here is our y-axis. We want to reflect this shape across it. So one way to think of it is like if this y-axis were a mirror. Or another way I like to think of it is if this shape had like ink on it or something, wet paint, and we were to fold on the y-axis and unfold it, what it would look like on the other side. That's what we're trying to do. So if we think about it, if I was doing that and not using any sort of really strategy or anything, and I was just figuring this out, I might go, okay, so on this side, it's over three, up three. So to do it on the other side, I'm gonna go over three the other way and still go up three, right? So we can think about it that way. Another way to think of that is my Y in my ordered pair is going to stay the same, right? I'm going to go up the same amount. It's the X that's going to change. But the only thing that's going to change about it is its sign. So if I have my original points here of this shape, the reflected shape, we are just going to change X's sign. And Y is going to stay the same. So I'm going to figure out all of these ordered pairs first. Okay, so there are my points for this original shape. Now I am just going to change X's sign to reflect it across the Y axis. So this is going to be negative 3, 3 negative nine, five, negative two, eight, and negative six, nine. Now let's go ahead and plot those points and make sure it looks like a reflection. Okay, there's my points. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's connect our dots. And there we go. Now my drawing isn't perfect, obviously, but <laughs> does that look like if I folded it, they would match up? Or if this was a mirror, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here, but we are reflecting it across the x-axis. Now this is a little interesting because you see it crosses the x-axis, but that's okay. We're still gonna reflect over it. So let's see what that looks like. If you paid attention here, you can probably guess my ordered pair over here to reflect across the x-axis, x is going to stay the same and we are going to change y's sign. Using those ordered pairs, that will reflect it over the x-axis. So I'm going to figure out these three original points. Okay, there are those original points. Now I'm just going to change Y's sign. So my X is going to stay the same, negative 8. Since 2 is negative here, I'm going to change the sign and have it be a positive 2. I'm going to have negative 2 stay the same, and I'm going to change my positive 5 to a negative 5. Negative 6 is going to stay the same. We're going to change that positive 7 to a negative 7. So let's what, see what happens when I plot these points. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna connect the dots. And there we go. You see how it crosses over itself, but it's still that reflection, right? Okay, I hope this helped. If you need some more reflection videos or other types, types of transformations, I will link a playlist in the corner. Thanks.